Okay, thermal regulation. So this is talking about how our bodies maintain our temperature. So if you be, if you start to become hot, uh, obviously receptors pick that up, it sends it to your brain, and then your brain sends information to different parts of your body. So the first part is going to be to the sweat glands. So your sweat glands are going to release sweat. The sweat goes up, it sits on your skin, and then it takes the energy from your skin in order to evaporate. So once once sweat evaporates, it's taking heat from your skin. So your skin is now cooler. Uh, you also have vasodilation. Now with both vasodilation and vasoconstriction, there's something very important. You only talk about peripheral blood vessels. So the blood vessels that are near the skin, not the ones that are deep in your body. Those never change. It's only the ones that are near the skin that change, okay? So in vasodilation, blood vessels that come near the skin widen so more blood can go to close to the skin and remember blood is hot so it's going so it's going to radiate the heat outside and then so hot blood comes up and the heat goes up and cool blood refresher blood enters the uh, go, comes back down again so that's vasodilation the other thing that happens is that erector muscles so the muscles uh, which hold up your hairs th these muscles relax and because they relax your hairs lie flat and of course hair the main job of hair is to is to catch a warm layer of insulating air so if it doesn't if it can't do that then of course you won't have that warm air above your skin and therefore you you feel um you feel cold again so that's why animals don't wear clothes because they already have fur which means they have that warm layer of air uh, keeping them warm now if you're cold no sweating obviously vaso vaso oh little um, mistake here it should say vasoconstriction okay so vasoconstriction which means these blood vessels constrict and less heat can now escape to the surroundings um also the erector muscles obviously contract so hair stands up so you get a layer of warm air and something else that you do is that you shiver shivering is basically mini muscle contraction and we know muscle contraction requires energy from respiration so when you shiver your muscles contract that means your body respires and we know respiration is an exothermic reaction so that releases heat hey guys if that video helped you support our channel by liking subscribing and sharing it with your friends and more importantly if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.